What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another AMC update to bring all of you this afternoon. So what we're going to be going over in this video is exactly why AMC is continuously seeing this steep drop in share price. There are a lot of things that are going on um, that we are not necessarily privy to, but the moral of the story is the over leveraged funds, the shorts on AMC are trying to get into the heads of retail investors who like this this stock. Now, what they're trying to do is one, get people to lose interest in AMC and even maybe sell their position. They're trying to push the stock as low as they possibly can, maybe to try to get it low enough where they may start covering their over leveraged shorts. But we're going to go over a lot of information on this. We also have Goldman Sachs liquidating a lot of their equity positions. This shows us a lot about where the, uh, the overall market could be headed in the near future and feeds into everything that we have talked about, about the over leveraging and the delevering that we could see coming up towards the end of this year. Now, in addition, we also have a very interesting notice from uh, JP Morgan and the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, DTCC, that a lot of people are misconstruing and thinking that JP Morgan has actually been kicked out of the DTCC. Uh, so we're going to go over that as well. So before we get into all of that information, if you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people as possible. And the more people that we have staying up to date with accurate AMC information, especially in the times that we are seeing the, the, the steep decreases in the share price, the stronger our community becomes. So at the, at the current time that I'm recording, AMC is now trading at $34.60, and is down 12% on the day. This is not what we wanted to really see at all, especially after those last couple of down days. But when we come over to Ortex, we can see that the short interest today on Ortex's estimates actually went up 1.18%. But the two most important uh, pieces of Ortex right now that I'm really following along with is utilization and the amount of shares on loan. So the utilization is the amount of shares uh, that institutions are willing to lend out into the market versus the amount of shares that have been lent out already. We are seeing these shares on loan start to increase again. Now, what this means is that these institutions who are trying to push down the share price of AMC are doing exactly that. They are adding to their short positions. They are flooding the market with a lot of supply, which is pushing the share price of AMC down. Now, the price action that we have seen out of AMC over the last couple of weeks, I understand why new apes to this community are getting slightly discouraged. I get it. You bought in at the at these higher levels, the stock has come down, and you have an unrealized loss on your position. But what I would say is that try to think of this from a more broad perspective. We saw something very similar happen back in January when AMC had its first significant run-up, and then it started to come back down after we had a lot of people buying at those pre previous high levels. Now, what ended up happening with those individuals who were buying AMC, basically at the top of the last run-up, they are still significantly green on their position. So, what is essentially going on with this stock right now is that the hedge funds are over leveraging themselves even more. They are kicking the can down the road in terms of when the short squeeze may end up happening. And again, nobody knows when the squeeze is going to happen or how high the price is going to potentially go, but they have added to their short position. They are over leveraging themselves even more, giving retail investors who would like to uh, a greater opportunity to buy shares of AMC at a lower price. But again, nothing I say in these videos is financial advice. These are for educational and entertainment purposes only. Now, let's get into this Goldman Sachs liquidation situation. So what this revolves around is Goldman Sachs' most recent earnings report. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to do directly with AMC, but with, it, with everything that we have been talking about on this channel, with all of the economic indicators that suggest a major correction in the markets is coming in the near future, this is just more confirmation on that theory. Now, which brings us to the punchline, a chart showing what Goldman had done with its equity investments in 2021. Here, the bank pulled no punches, making it clear in the title that it has been busy harvesting its balance sheet equity portfolio, which of course is another word for selling. Now, exactly how much 
of this portfolio did Goldman end up selling? They dumped $5.5 billion of its equity assets, excluding a modest $1.5 billion in purchases or more than a quarter of its entire portfolio as of December 31st. Now, when we come down a little bit further, who exactly were they selling to? This article suggests that it could be retail and they are providing the bids. Um, so basically what, what individuals are willing to purchase shares at, and that's who Goldman has been essentially dumping on. Now, Goldman is mainly the first institution to do this. So in times of a major market correction, those bids that Goldman is selling to right now will disappear. Not a lot of people are going to want to buy in a significant market correction. So what Goldman is doing right now is they're trying to get ahead of the curve, dump these positions early so they can take these gains that they have had and delever their portfolios. Delevering is one of the key terms that I want you guys to understand. Right now, we know that in the markets, there is a wild amount of over leveraging going on. We can see that as reflected on this chart that I bring up all the time in my videos that the margin debt in the United States right now is getting close to 900 billion US dollars. Now, in addition to this, the Fed, the Federal Reserve of the United States has also come out and said that the hedge funds leverage metrics are well above historical levels. So Goldman Sachs seems to be one of the first institutions that is starting to delever. Now, what this could potentially mean is that they are expecting a major market correction. For AMC, when we see these major market corrections, there's going to be liquidations left and right. We are going to see forced liquidations of long positions, short positions, and a lot of these over leveraged funds portfolios. And that could be one of the causes of uh, getting these shorts to actually cover their positions because they're going to be forced to buy these forced liquidations that will end up coming in the time of a major market event. Now, we also have to go over this JP Morgan situation. JP Morgan has been kind of a hot topic this week um, in the Ape community. They they basically are coming out and saying, according to that one news source, remember, uh, it's not completely verified, but after the fallout in the aftermath of Archegos, they have tightened up their risk standards and are now going to be performing these intraday margin calls seven times a day. What does that sound like? It sounds very similar to NSCC 002 where the National Securities Clearing Corporation is going to be calculating the supplemental liquidity deposits i.e. a margin call, which is essentially add more cash to, to your account, more collateral in order to maintain these maintenance margin levels. So JP Morgan could potentially be type, uh, tightening up their risk standards, but we are also seeing something very weird come out of the DTCC. A lot of people are misrepresenting this, and I want to clear this up for everybody who has questions on this. So when we look at this DTCC notice right here, we can see um, that effective with the close of business on July 13th, 2021, that is yesterday, JP Morgan Chase National Bank National Association number 0902 will retire the following account, JP Morgan Chase Bank slash corporate municipal dealer. Now, then the account number listed here, number 2508. A lot of people were saying, hey, the, the DTCC is kicking out JP Morgan from, from the, their clearing corporation. We know that they have metrics in place to actually kick out any of their members if they are going to pose a massive risk risk uh, to the actual business activities of the DTCC, but that's not what's going on here. When we look at the actual members and the actual accounts listed on the DTCC's website, we can see that JP Morgan has a lot of these accounts. This is not the only one that is going to be uh, getting uh, delisted, and it's not JP Morgan essentially saying, hey, we are no longer a part of the DTCC. When we look down here, JP Morgan Chase Bank, corporate municipal dealer right here, this is the only account that is getting terminated. This is most likely administrative business as usual and nothing to really freak out about. So that is really going to conclude this update for AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And again, the more people who are staying up to date with accurate AMC information, the stronger our community becomes. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.